It says going live. I think we are live. What is going on, everybody? Rogers based here, and welcome to my early morning live reaction to the Nintendo Indie World presentation for April 17th, 2024. Welcome one and all, welcome one and all. I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces in chat already. Let me actually swap over to my reaction screen real quick, seeing what's going on here. People are saying, hey, what's up? We're ready for you, Roger. Remember to like and subscribe. Sharp Pop saying, let's go. Rob Harley, Shark Gamers, welcome everybody. Also, shout out to a bunch of the people who became members before the stream even started. Invincible, uh, Regniel, and Robert, welcome. Thank you very much for your uh, membership. Appreciate it. Now, in terms of predictions for this one, I honestly don't really have any. I'm not really sure what I think we're going to get today. I feel like the only prediction that I have, which is the one that people always have every indie world, but this is the one time where I'm like, oh, I actually think this could happen is Silk Song. I really feel like Silk Song is the big thing that we're going to see today because it just got rated recently i think by the esrb it just recently was on some like xbox listing and so i feel like it would make a lot of sense to actually finally see this game i think that is probably one of the only other games coming out this year that i could think of that can really like go for game of the year I, we probably will see a launch trailer for another crab's treasure during the indie world today and i actually do want to give a shout out specifically to agro crab because they know that i've been excited for the game and they sent me, check this out, this adorable little plushie for another Crab's Adventure along with some stickers and stuff. So I'll probably be playing a little bit of that game in the near future. I'm super excited for that one. I think it looks super cute. The the Dark Souls type gameplay with the really cute crab. I just think it's, it's my kind of vibe. So I'll probably be playing a little bit of that when I come back from C2E2. But other than that, I really don't know what else we're going to get in this. No idea. And it's 7 a.m. So this thing is going to start any minute. So I'm going to turn off the Hollow Knight music. I'm going to crank up, excuse me, crank up the volume. Why am I hiccuping this morning? I think it's probably because I was like trying to down my coffee. All right, here we are, here we are. Let me know if the audio needs to be adjusted a little louder or quieter, just let me know. All right. Hello everyone, and welcome Hello. to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Tyler. We're back with more indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, let's get. All right. Uh, what was that? Also, why For is it segment. stuttering? Uh -huh. Oh, it's because my my volume thing was freaking out. My volume slider. Hey, Micah, you ready to get started? I heard a cat yeah. in the background. Pip Stray. Pip. Hello. Um, oh, Pip, you have a filter Stray. on. What? Oh. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Let's go. Hi. I'm Matt, director and lead developer. Little Kitty, Little Big Kitty City. City. I'm Micah, <laughs> That's a cute the animator. Name for a game. And I'm Pip, the narrative designer. <laughs> Little Kitty Big City is a game about exploring a weird and wonderful neighborhood as a little cat. Okay. The game idea originated when I was teaching my kids how to code. And it's grown a lot since then. But the core is still the same. It's a game about being a little cat. A little okay. cat in a world filled with exciting distractions. Made by people who love distractions and cats. When I heard the cat, I really thought Kitty it was going to be a port of Stray, though. Because that game is currently it. exclusive yeah. on and PS5, I think isn't I it? I don't think I ever got a PC. Look. Not yeah. again. Now they're cats. You're a curious little kitty in a big city. You were taking a nap in your favorite spot, but you fell uh -oh. and now you're lost. Talk about a near cat I actually do like the art in this style, adorable though. It's pretty adventure, cute. You'll navigate a vibrant city to find your way home. Vibrant, that's a good way to, to describe it. The way. Like... Check your to-do list. Some of the city's animals have found themselves in hairy situations, and you can lend a helping hand. Uh, paw. Maybe one of them wants something shiny. Another might be stuck in a pipe. There are also cat achievements to complete. Cat Get achievements? Get petted by humans, knock things over, you know, normal cat stuff. Oh, we didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty hats, like a ladybug, a shark, and even a bunny. You can There's another also crab one in there. Emotes whenever you want. Oh, that's a big stretch. It's a great way to look cute while stirring up some mischief. <laughs> Get ready to dig your claws people. in when little kitty Don't go after that little bird. Come on, man. To Nintendo Switch May 9th. 9th. All right, so that's coming out really begin soon. Later then. today on Nintendo eShop. That's short considering I've never heard of this before. You ever get that feeling? 
Like you're meant for something more. Oh, That's is this Jenny? Kind of my deal since forever. But now, something's changed. I think it might be or something. A powerful. new game from Wave. Oh, developers from Shantae. Oh, okay. And fly. It's an Atari IP. Kotek needs to be stopped, and I'm the one who can do it. Okay. Bro. Art style's cool. Yar's rising. Hey there, Emi Kimura here, aka Yar. If you want to use my handle, would you totally? Oh yeah, totally is. That is definitely Jenny. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, cool. This game from way forward and Atari. Oh, that's cool. As your typical hacker for hire gig spirals into a weird intergalactic conspiracy involving mega conglomerate Kotech. This actually looks pretty cool. It's like a Metroidvania hacker type game. Our way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire and Yars Rising. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system later this year. 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 Yeah, it totally is. <laughs> That's cool. Right on. All right, what is this? A journey My of self-discovery awaits in this exploration-based adventure. Take on the role of an android, the creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Okay. Every action you take and decision you make during your journey. I like that the visual style is going full Game Boy. Who you are. And there are no right or wrong choices. Like I Travel said this before, I'm mixed with sprite-based games. Sometimes Interact I like them, with other sometimes I don't. But I like them if they're very clearly going for a style. Doctor envisioned for and this you. is very clearly like Game Boy, At Game Boy Advance. Your journey, your personality type will be revealed. Because even like, yeah, yeah, With 23 this looks cool. personality types to discover, you can make different choices in each playthrough and see where they lead you. Will you end up as a proactive leader? What about a wise sage? This seems kind of neat. Or even a strong-willed samurai. And Speaking of samurai, I literally just beat Ed Walker yesterday. Of other players, as a samurai, you can share your results. There should be a video sometime soon of my reactions to the ending. It was very good. Find out. Yeah, I'd say the only thing is I wish the text was also. Self. Pixelated. The personality test game. Because again, it's like as a having the HD text almost like takes me out of it a little Switch bit. This summer. But it looks cool. The personality test game. I should tell Island Hi Arcade. Hi everyone, we're Spy Garden Games. The developers of Sticky <laughs> Bring back our personality Future test video that got lost the time after the YouTube hack. It's popping up on social media. <laughs> it's been so inspiring to see all those fantastic artists create cute stickers, assemble beautiful packages, and learn about their customers. I like that they knew what they stories. were doing though, bringing the so, dog in. They know people are going to go for the dog. we wanted to make a game where you can experience exactly that for your Yourself. It was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks, but then so many people liked the concept that we kept working on it. We're excited for you to play on Nintendo Switch. Okay. I'm glad we're sticking around for the cozy sim, sticky business. The cozy sim. You've got sim. a sticker shop to run, so let your imagination run wild <laughs> as you <laughs> the create the stickers games logo and ship on the them top. off to customers. See, Obi's in the other room right now, so I, I can't bring Obi in, but. There are over 400 elements to choose from when creating your stickers. And you can get upgrades for even more options. Wow, boba, ice cream, books, pizza, and raccoons? Oh, there's plenty more. And you can add effects like glitter and sparkles. So combine whatever elements and effects you want to design your artistic adhesives. But no shop cute. is complete without its customers. Each one will ask for different stickers, and by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, but you'll also learn more about their lives. From a music teacher striving to motivate her students, to a dad who wants to cheer up his grieving child, each customer has a heartfelt story to share. His grieving child. Plus, the Plan With Me paid the DLC dog adds or 10 more customer stories and over one. Hey, thank you, by the way, to Normally elements, Normal for becoming a member. Now, comma. Appreciate that. And frames. Get ready to build the cutest shop ever. In Sticky Business, mm. both the game mm. and DLC launch as timed console exclusives the music's on Nintendo nice, Switch later today. A bundle of the game and DLC will also be available later today. If you're looking for explosive, calming, or mysterious journeys, we've got you covered with this trio of upcoming indie games. Okay. Check them out. 
Explosive. Show me Metal Slug. I want to see Metal Slug Tactics. I'm gonna find it. I've been waiting for more news on Metal Slug Tactics. That's like one of the few things I would really, really like to see. This looks kind of cool, though. Little Wario Land Pizza Tower esque. Is Pizza Tower on Switch? As Dynamite Anton. Or the massive mace as dynamite. I mean, this looks exactly like Pizza Tower. Worlds to waste and beat up brutish bosses. Smash up the levels. Little, the little like uh, multiplier in the corner and stuff. To alter their paths and find new I don't think it's Pizza to Tower too. No chat. <laughs> I don't. End of each level, I don't think it is. A detonator will start ticking down, so you've got to rush back to the beginning before. I still have to explodes. play the original Pizza Tower Get though. Get ready for a destructively good time in Anton Blast. Launching as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system, November 12th. Okay. A demo will be available later today on Nintendo Is e this the same developer? Curiously? A riveting first-person adventure awaits in Valley Peaks. Riveting? I'm assuming you're playing as a frog. assigned to the peaks, you'll climb, glide, and even use your tongue to scale the mountains. We chameleon twist boys again? Power so the locals can happily reconnect with the world. Okay. With boulders, spikes, and other hazards in your way, the trek to the summits won't be easy. If you need a hiking hiatus, there's still plenty to do. Chat with the froggy yep, folks there they and are. take on small side quests. Fill out stairs. See, that's what I'm talking about, though. See how the text is the same climbing easier. type or as the right... Like, relax with notice the text games. is actually made of pixels? Plan your trip to Valley Peaks when it leaps onto Nintendo Switch Valley Peaks, that's cute. Year. I would definitely try this one. This seems like a nice, calm, cozy game that I could play on my own. From the caters of Year Walk and Sayonara Wild Hearts. Oh, okay. This looks cool, like an Ace Attorney 999 kind of game. Also, it kind of has the art style of like a Killer 7 a little bit, doesn't it? I'm prepping for a jump scare. I hear the music going and going and going and going. Running through mazes and dead bodies and glowing eyeballs. The laser eyes. Lorelei and the laser eyes. That definitely Hi, seems like I'm an Albert Pinto, game. the creator of Europa. Six years or so ago, I started working on the game in my spare time, and since then, I think we it saw this one with the help of on a previous indie world or on an old Nintendo Direct magic. or something, didn't we? It all started with the idea of using watercolor art style to evoke peaceful and zen yeah, because I remember seeing a trailer and being like, "Wow, this looks really pretty." I a meditative experience and to tell the beautiful I'm story to see more of through this. gameplay that's able to put the player in a state of flow. I really hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here, and Great. I cannot wait to show it to you. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, that is Some genuinely that very, very pretty. Life to Europa. I don't know if I like the main character's design, if you ask me, but the rest of it, I mean, this is gorgeous, yeah. Within. It looks a little like Genshin in that area, doesn't it? Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. A lot like Genshin, actually. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. But it's pretty! I mean, that's not a slight. That would Ooh, now that looks cool. Waterfall area, that's floating that's islands. Why I'm sending you ahead. Oh, yeah. Even the movement looks cool. Reminds me a lot of Lost Winds, the old WiiWare game. Uh, from back in the day where the characters would have like a floaty jump and then the little wind thing that would sort of spin and push them forward. Very cool. Oh yeah, wow. Wow. If anyone can decide about tomorrow. I feel like that watercolor look is gonna make this game very timeless. Whatever you turn out. Gorgeous! Whatever We're in the paths realm of Attack on Titan there? Really, really pretty stuff. Europa. Demo available later today. Oh, great. I will download the demo. I'll try it out. Order up some 
pizza Fun. because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back. I wouldn't have expected this in an indie direct. In their very first radical roguelike adventure, Leonardo, Raphael, There's never been a TMNT roguelike. And Michelangelo must travel through reality bending portals to rescue their kids. Main character Master looks like you a little bit, Roger, in With that Europa you game. I don't have two, totally two differently colored eyes, though. Well, My eyes are just gray. I understand that I have GWBS, but still. Upgrade your turtle power. For those of you who don't know what GWBS is, generic white boy syndrome. The four I understand. Each have their signature <laughs> thank you, by the way, to Wonder Davey coming through with the example, membership. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Has a higher chance of dealing <laughs> critical damage. After clearing now, I actually, I really liked the last Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. Um, but again, it was like, combo. the sprites made it Don't look like an old, though, cool arcade game. When a run this I probably won't play. More customization options await but I know there's people who are excited home, about it. Where you can spend in-game currency you earned on your runs. So far, that Yars Rising game looked really cool. That Europa game looked really cool. I liked that frog first-person valley game. I forgot what that one was called. Enjoy exploring iconic locations solo, or jump online with. And then whatever that pizza tower looking game was, that looked cool too. But again, like I said, I still have to play pizza tower. In and out whenever they want. It's kind of a neat mechanic, though, because you're pulling them in with the chains like that. Get ready to fight the foot when Teenage Mutant fight Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this July. Was this not previously announced? I genuinely thought that was my doorbell for a second. <laughs> this looks familiar. Oh, that's because it is. It's a sequel to a game that they've already announced. This is Cat Quest 2. I actually like the visual style of this one, too. I like how it's in Caribbean Sea actually written on the water. It looked like a map. Neat. Mage body. I mean, it looks cute. I never played the first one, though, so I'm, I'm not really sure uh, if the first one was beloved. I'm sure probably was if they're making a sequel. Looks more like a mobile game than anything else, though. Like, I'd imagine playing this on my phone, not necessarily on my Switch. Cat Quest 2. Okay. Okay. Hello from Phuket, Cup. I'm Jay. I like the little Lego NES in the background over there. And this is my amazing wife and artist Ying. Hi, guys. Jay and Ying. Okay. We are part of the creative team behind Stitch, a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. It is such a blast for us to merge our shared passion for art and craft into our game. Okay. As we design a pattern called Hoop. I wonder if it actually Together, teaches you how to embroider. We have over 180 hoops for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after that game has launched. Our patterns are fusion of personal experience and the community's idea. The Penguin mascot is a gamified avatar of our producer Tanin. <laughs> Some content category, <laughs> like mystical creatures, for example, originated <laughs> from our scared. players. <laughs> We hope you will enjoy the game and happy, happy stitching. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Is he gonna say anything? Or, oh no! Here's okay, he's just getting nitty gritty on this cozy game. The penguin game. outfit. Okay. You'll complete puzzles called hoops. To bring okay, so no, so this isn't gonna actually teach you how to embroider. Stitch together then. groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid while avoiding any. I thought you were actually gonna go through with the needle and thread exactly and do the whole thing. Is key it's like a puzzle game. The hoop. From roller skates and teddy bears I mean, it's got a nice aesthetic. If you're going for something different for a puzzle game, I could see people really vibing with this one. And some of the designs are hoops cool. Hoops come in different sizes, so you can Seems take a quick cozy. break with smaller hoops 
or unwind with bigger ones that require more careful thought. Complete hoops in whatever order you'd like. No matter which hoop you choose, each one has the potential to offer a relaxing and calming experience that you can also enjoy with touch controls in handheld mode. After completing a hoop, you can play it again in free stitch mode and recolor it to your liking. If a hoop seems too tough, don't worry. A handy hint feature can be used at any time. You can also tailor your experience with various accessibility That's settings. That's nice, okay. Want more of a Big challenge? Numbers. Try the limited so time daily Shikaku puzzles. On there. These ones don't offer any hints, so you'll really need to put your thinking cap on. Weekly hoops are also available. Each one is inspired by real life events and filled with trivia. I feel like if you like so Sudoku, stitch away you might like this while too. learning a fun fact or two. Plus, once a weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play but whenever you like. But this one also like. feels very much like a mobile game, Stitch doesn't it? Launches as a console exclusive oh, it's on out. Nintendo Switch. And it's exclusive. Later today. Okay. That's surprising. Before we go, let's oh. take a quick look at a few more indie games heading to uh, Nintendo uh, Switch. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. We're getting the montage, and we're going to the big announcement at the end. Okay. If it ain't Silk Song today, I don't think we're ever seeing Silk Song. I'm gonna be real. This is like the what? There's a lot of frog games this time. What the heck is this? Jumping through little uh, little shadows as a frog? That actually looks awesome. I'm surprised they didn't show that off for it. Animal well, okay. I don't know why that one reminded me of Cave Story, but it did. The Secret Salami? Duck Detective? <laughs> he just looks straight up like the goose from another goose game. Here we go! That's my guy right there! Shout out to another Crab's Treasure, once again. Happy to see that. Again, I'll be playing this next week. Super duper excited about it. All right. We've got time for one last announcement Here we before go. we run out of Steam. Oh, Take Steam World Dig? Oh. Get ready to sail the spectacular seas Steam in World this long awaited Steam World sequel. Okay. The waters of the world have turned deadly. I think there's the probably people who are excited about this, though. Of its robotic denizens. We were just talking now, about Steam World Dig the other day. It's up to you to explore the Great Sea and discover why this once essential resource has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of Steam bots in tactical, turn-based shootouts in a brand new adventure. Point, I don't know why I've shoot, never gotten into these games. And let those bullets bounce. Oh, this it's like around, Worms you gameplay. You can explore the world map and engage in real-time naval combat. Okay. Equip your submarine with a variety of weapons and items, then line is up your the shots. Is this the music from the game, battles. or is this just like generic indie world music? You can even tell. befriend steam bots along the way, recruit them to your cause, and embark on an epic voyage together. As you get to know more bots, you'll learn how your actions impact their lives. Plus, with the new job system and in-depth character customization, along with over 150 weapons, utility items, I mean, it seems and cool. ship equipment pieces, you can strategically craft your crew to best fit the mission at hand. I almost feel like your they would have been better off ending it with that pizza tower lookalike, though. Weapons and levels. Each different crewmate Because even though, again, I have not played Pizza Tower unlocked. yet, I know how much course, people love that game. And I feel like that probably have. excited a lot of people so who are watching this direct. Take aim and last box to bits. Not to say Steam World necessarily does it. I know a lot of people like Ricochet's this, and I do love the Nintendo logo. Switch, August 8th. But all right. Okay. Steam World Heist. That's all for today's okay. Indie World. Okay. That was we one of the best announcements. The, the one that Jenny was in. Showcase. The Yars Rising one. That Europa game also looks incredible. I'd probably say Europa, to the that Nintendo Yars Switch game, system. and then Follow I would say, obviously, Indie another World Crab's account. Treasure. Stay up to date on the latest what would I say? I also Indie really, World. I like that Until Valley next game. Time, happy gaming! I want to go back real quick. I want to look at that Valley game again. What was the name of it? I'll let it play all the way out in case they're going to trick us and do one more thing. Here we go. Okay, they're not. They're not. I just want to go back real quick to get the name of the first person frog one. On to Nintendo Switch. Is this one? This 
I think this is the Plan one, right? Plan your trip to Valley Peaks. Valley Please. Peaks. Yeah, I, I did think that one was cute too. Yeah, overall, I'd say I would liked I liked Valley Peaks. I liked whatever this Pizza Tower one is, Anton Blast. But again, I need to play Pizza Tower first. Then I would say this Yars Rising, like Metroidvania okay, looking right. hacker game Jump looks cool. I like into this. Unlocking and the Jenny's the voice in it, so of course Empire I gotta play it. Yars gotta support rising. my friend. Launching on the Nintendo Switch and then, this let's see, where's that Europa game again? Right here. Some say you guys said he looks like me still? Here and Let me go back. I don't see a resemblance. I really don't. I, I don't see it. I don't have a little beauty mark. I don't have a robot eye. <laughs> Again, visually though, this one is stunning. And the fact that there's a demo out right now is actually really cool. I'll probably play this later tonight. Not on stream or anything, just like on my own. But I think it looks really nice. Yeah, overall, I think a pretty decent indie world. Stuff for everybody. I think Steam World is gonna make a lot of people really happy. Uh, Rob said the hair swoop is the wrong way too. That's right, that's right. Um, yeah, overall, I, I think my biggest takeaway is this is the one I was genuinely expecting Silk Song in because of the rating. Now I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Maybe it's like a timed Xbox exclusive or something, or I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. That game's in development for a long time. I feel like Silk Song has become a meme in the same way that like Metroid Prime, I feel, has become a meme. And with the second half of this year kind of open in terms of the calendar for games on Switch and us not really knowing what's going on with the Switch 2 or something like that, yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised. But um, now otherwise, I think it was pretty cute. I think there was stuff in here pretty much for everybody. The little, um, the embroidery game also looks kind of cute. Shard Pop also donated and said, uh, Steam World Heist is basically turn-based tactics. Um, you can dig, that's like Spelunky or Mr. Driller. The turn-based stuff is like a card game deck builder. And the building aspect is like a city builder with a dungeon keeper. So there's a lot going on there. Okay, again, I've never played Steam World 1. I think the only Steam World game I ever played was Dig back, I want to say on like 3DS. And it wasn't even like the full game. I played a little bit at like a preview of it. And I honestly couldn't even tell you what the gameplay was like in that one. But yeah, there was interesting stuff. There was other stuff outside of the SteamWorld stuff and outside of Silk Song that didn't end up happening that interested me. So it was definitely worth waking up for. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Thanks for hopping in alongside my reaction. And um, oh, you were explaining. Oh, 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 oh. Shard Pop was explaining, he wanted to clarify with that donation that that's not all the gameplay of just Heist. That Dig plays like Mr. Driller. Steam World Quest is a turn based card game deck builder. Steam World Build is a city builder. And Steam World Heist is turn based, just like what we talked about. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And Marcus said, Could you react to the new Genshin trailer? Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do the new Genshin trailer. All right, what is it? What's in it? We'll end things off with a Genshin trailer reaction. Here we go. The song in the Burning Embers animated short. Is this it? Or is this it? Oh, million views 10 hours ago. Let's do this. Here we go. Ended things off with a, a Genshin trailer. You were born into this world all alone. This is Genshin? But here in the house of the heart. Oh, it's like an advertisement for, <laughs> for Arlequino's orphanage. To all right. To compete, to defeat all your brothers and sisters in battle, and become king. <laughs> Where is Pear Ware? Didn't she want to hear the story? Excuse me, mother. This doesn't She's look like Genshin at all. Spider. That child. I mean, obviously, I know it is, but the art style Maybe is very her different. Curse is flaring up again. Clarvy, see to her. Oh, okay. I want cake. You, you want some? Sure. Uh. You must know spiders don't eat cake. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> the birds are from their cage. Sun the music's nice. Filter through the foliage. Flames grow up and fill our tall courage. But since I don't think we've seen the other girl, I, I feel a tragic backstory coming. Yeah, here we go. Mothers 
usually argue with their daughters. I heard that in Smeshnaya, colored light dances in the sky at night. When we're grown up... Shall we go see it together? <laughs> I don't like all the random band-aids and stuff that's scaring me. Gives me Promise Neverland vibes, for sure. Why is she killing her friend like that? Arlecchino, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Does she have a curse where maybe if she touches you and loves you that she stabs you or something? Clearly it came out of her because you could see the little hole with the blood. I should have pruned this flower long ago. Not waited till it wilts. How grotesque. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. Oh, I like the music too. This is kind of hype actually. So that was the former father then. Innocence and kindness are such beautiful qualities. Ooh, ooh. Sadly, ooh. they're all so useless. Da -na, da -na, da Fly the nest. You are no exception. <laughs> I still don't quite understand what's going on with Arlecchino's curse, though. Magus is saying, think of it like the Anbu that Donzo and Naruto was managing, where they're forced to fight to the death. Uh -huh. I honestly forgot a lot of the Donzo stuff other than the Surrender. fight with Sasuke, though. Let your mother guide you, and you shall become the one true king! So for those of you who play Genshin, and who know the lore better than I do, I'm assuming the king thing was the title before the title of father. Yo! Yo! That's when the Fatui was like, we gotta, we gotta get her. <laughs> Dang. <sighs> and that's what led her to Shnesnaya? Her Majesty the Tsaritsa has decreed as follows. I hereby pardon your crimes and bestow upon you a new name. The Signora and the Valadier! And its legacy of bloodshed are now yours to bear. My oh, poor this is cool! Cursed knave. The knave Arlecchino! It's still going?
And this was the creation Come of the new house, me. right, right. I will raise you as my child, like a strict and unfeeling father. Man, oh man. Wow, that was incredible. Now, question, was this, I see someone saying, Aventurine? That's not Aventurine, because this is Genshin, this isn't Honkai. Is this maybe Linny? Is this maybe Linny? That's the only character that I could think of that would maybe match this, or maybe Fremine? I could also see this being Fremine. Actually, Fremine is the one that's blonde. Linny's got like white hair, so this is probably more likely Fremine. And considering the fact that the trailer for the upcoming update kind of hyped up Fremine stuff, that probably is Fremine. Oh no, Brian is saying it's actually none of the siblings that we know because the eyes don't really match up. All right, interesting. And Rob is saying basically the lady that was killed was the harbinger of the house of the hearth. And that um, she had the kids fight each other in order to become king. Oh, so they were... So Arlequino was fighting with her friend then. I thought it was something where, like, she loved her friend, but it was like a toga situation, you know, where, like, you're actually hurting the people that you love. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is Genshin enjoyable without paying microtransactions? Of course it is. Of course. Of course. The only reason we put money into it is because people donate in Super Chat to do polls. Otherwise... You could play it by yourself. All right, well, that was cool. I'm glad we ended up watching that at the ending then, too. Pretty good indie world. Fun little Genshin trailer at the ending. I'm going to wrap this sucker up. Thank you all for, uh, for joining me. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye, everybody.